Hey y'all, this is Bill Hewitt. Pascal Hoffman. And we're here to talk to you about trucks we have for sale. You know, people, I, I get these little comments and like random emails and talking about, oh, your truck's too expensive. Okay. Well, uh, the, the trucks that I have, especially the six liters, they have no emissions on them. They don't have the DPF problems. And they're very, very dependable because we do our lifetime dealer proof on them. I mean, Look, if you're going to own a diesel truck, you're going to spend money. It's just that simple. These, this is not like some gas burner garbage that you can go buy the parts for over at AutoZone. You, these are diesel Ford diesel trucks, and they're expensive to maintain. They're expensive to, to build to the level that we build them. So, you know, before you make a comment, you know, maybe you need to move out of your mother's basement and get a, get a life. You know what I'm saying? Before you start popping off emails to me at 2 in the morning. Was that too harsh to start no. off? No, I think that's. Okay. You think I was? You think I was out of line there? I think it's acceptable. Was I? Was I? Was I like politically correct enough? No. Oh, okay. But it's good. Okay, good. Let's go show them what we got. Okay, trucks for sale. Trucks for sale. How about that, we're gonna do that. Diesel trucks. For sale. Diesel trucks for sale. They're like pretty shiny things. Now this one here, I'll tell you what. This is actually I've driven this truck a good bit. It got a fresh motor in it. What, one hundred eighty-two thousand? One eighty-three. One eighty-three. See, put some miles on it. Um, just a great driving truck. I mean, and it's it's you know it's a it's a Lariat, and uh, when we got it, the interior was kind of beat up. I just happened to have through the grapevine. I paid a lot of money for this interior. I paid like three grand for this interior. But the door panels and the seats are all platinum. I mean, this is like heated, cool, like badass. Badass seats. I mean, this is an extremely comfortable truck to drive. Uh, 183 on the on the ticker there. You know, regular radio, no sunroof, crew cab. Backup camera. Oh, it does. Yeah, it has the backup camera up in the uh, in the mirror. Um, look at that. I mean, that's plush. Um, it's got a little, you know, little damages. Uh, these tires on the back need to be replaced. It's it, it's it's noisy. It's I think that they were on the front of it and they and they were somehow like worn unevenly until we got the alignment done on it. And as a result, it, it's it's just noisy. It's like you know. If you don't mind, you know, it's mine never matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. You know. But it, it's they got tread. They just they just ride a little noisy. Uh, beds in good shape. You know, could probably use some. You know, what would you put in here, like Linex or something? Linex, or just leave it as is. It has, the has the ball. Gooseneck in there. It's got the, it's got the uh, you know, the tailgate with a little handle, old man handle, and the and the step. Um, backup camera. I, I don't, I don't understand this whole redneck artwork there. Somebody threw a chain. Huh? Well, they they throw a chain like it's, I don't know, but it's, it's deleted. Truck is deleted. Long bed. So this is a 250 or 350? 250. So it's an F-250 Lariat. Fresh motor. Long bed, full bar. It's not a brand new motor. Um, it's, uh, what was it, 72,000? That's right. 72,000 on the motor, and we resealed the bottom end of it so that it's not going to leak. Well, what are we talking about here, Pascal? 27. 27 like it sits? Like it sits on these wheels with the interior. Okay. And then whatever paint work. If you want us to do the, get the paint work done, I can get a quote from my paint shop. You'll pay exact what it is. This is actually just like a little cover thing that I think this will peel off and all this will go away. That will go away. That's right. All right. What do we got here, Pascal? 2005. Another long bed. Okay. 50 this time. 4x4. Four four. God, that's some really crappy paint on that fender, isn't it? Single stage. Single stage. Okay, so it had a repair done to it. Uh, and and some of the some of the you know the clear coats peeling on it, but it's a hundred and eleven thousand. I actually drove this truck up from Florida. Um, got a phone call from a man. He's moving out west. He doesn't need the truck anymore. Really nice truck. I mean, it, it drives fantastic. I mean, it, it really drives good. Um, it has no head gasket problems. I mean, we could put an oil cooler, I think, on this truck and probably be okay. Um, long bed, it did have a slide-in camper in it at one point, so the top rails, we'll get those replaced. We just hadn't had a chance to order it. I literally just got this truck about four days ago and, and got in it and drove it up here. Um, very clean, rust-free truck. Um, the, it's just cosmetically challenged in terms of the, in terms of the, uh, the paint. I mean, there's some stuff over here that needs to be dealt with. What do you think, this will buff out, Pascal? Yeah, it'll buff out. It'll buff out. Paint and primer. Yeah. No, well, I'll tell you what. I think it might actually come out of the, 
come out of the paint. I don't know. They dented it pretty good right there, didn't they? That ain't gonna come. Yeah. That might. No, I gotta get sanded and painted. These doors look good. They're good tires. Yep, good tires. It runs and drives. Great. This one needs to be bulletproof. We got a lifetime dealer proof this one yet. We could sell it as is, but I mean, if you want an as is truck, you wouldn't be buying it from us. You know, it, it, the oil cooler got hot and started pushing a little coolant, and it may have a bit of a head gasket problem. So we're just going to do the lifetime dealer proof on it. Uh, you know, the heads, the studs, the oil cooler, the EGR delete, the, the bottom end reseal, new mains and rods, bearings, uh, oil pump. Um, I don't think we need to put injectors in it. Not at that mileage, no. No, you don't. It starts and runs great. I mean, it, it runs really well. I mean, glow plugs, this sort of thing. But you see, it's, it was using a little bit on the way up here. I was pulling a trailer, about a 4,000-pound trailer. And I was running 75. You know, I was running. Um, you know, there's no reason to waste your time, waste your life in a, in a vehicle going down a road. So, yeah, this one this one's yet to be done. But it will be full lifetime dealer proof. Okay, and it needs a front bumper. So what are we looking at if, if we sell it with the paint like it is, Pascal, with all the lifetime done? With all the lifetime done and the paint as is, with a new bumper, 29.5. 29.5. Yeah, because, I mean, it's it's going to be a full motor job. Have a new emblem on it. Yep. Uh, headlights, put the headlights in it. Yep. But you're the, the rails on the back. Yeah, we'll put that plastic on there. But what do you think, what do you think paint will cost to get paint straight? Uh... It, it depends on how much they want to do. Do we want to paint the fender and the door or just fix the bed? It might be two grand. It might be five grand. Right, right. Just depends on... Uh, That's right. And, but they call you, right, Pascal? They call and, me. And, and, and what's that number again? 4-6-4-2-5-5-2-4. We five, can talk about it. 5 5 two, four. Call Pascal and talk about it. He, he has nothing else better to do. He, he, he got rid of his girlfriend, and it's just him and the dog. So, he, you know, he's up most nights about 3 a.m. He, he's happy to talk to you. <laughs> Don't be calling Pascal at 3 in the morning. No. All right. 2006. 2006. Crew cab short bed 4x4. Crew, crew cab short bed 4x4 King Ranch. And uh, black. The body's in actually really good shape. Original paint. Nice interior. Very nice truck. 207,000. It has uh, it was uh, has been lifetime dealer proofed. Um, we need to put the uh, we need to put the ceramic on this Pascal. It's yeah. I think the paint could look a little better. Um, look at that. It's nice interior. Interior is real nice. Bed's, bed's, nice. bed's like nothing ever been in it. That's but they nice. drive this thing like a, like as a, uh, is like a, just a car? Just a, just I mean, a haul of I mean, there's, there's, there's not even a, I mean, that bed is immaculate. The man just hauled his kids in it and that was it. Huh. Tailgate's real nice. Yeah. Use a good buffing. Yeah, but yeah, it needs, it needs some, just the paint to be, uh, I mean, that's like the only dent in the whole truck, right right there. You can see it. That's like the only dent. Um, it, just needs, it just needs a paint correction just to be cleaned up. It does have an exhaust on it. Okay. Here, pop that hood, Pascal. We need an emblem over here, Pascal. We need to put that the correct... Correct emblem up there. Yeah. It does have the lifetime with the Mishimoto. Mishimoto. It's been about 70,000 miles since that was done. Yeah. I think we put a fresh turbo on this one too, didn't we? I think we did. We went through it. Yeah. It's a dual alternator truck. You know, it's a camper special, whatever they call that with the dual alternators. Not an ambulance. That's, you know. Um, yeah. It had a full lifetime done 70,000 ago. What kind of money are we talking about on this one? This is a nice South Carolina truck. It what is kind of a very nice South Carolina truck. Uh, with the paint as is, we'd be at 29 and then the paint be additional. So. Mm -hmm. Probably be close to 31 if we want. Well, I think we can. I think we can. I think if we put the emblems and we do the paint. I mean, not do the paint, not paint it, paint it, but I mean, have it, have it polished. You have know, it polished. It needs a cab corner in the back. Oh yeah, yeah. But 29. I think we can do 29. Yeah. 29. Yes. Cool. Okay. And what we got here? This is 07. Okay. Another crew cap short bit, four by four King Range. 250. 250. Yep. Brand new Nitto tires. And brand new Nitto tires. All four. Got the tow mirrors on it. Yep. Got the later model King Ranch interior. Two hundred and eighty-one thousand. You had to put transmission in this truck. Right. Got sunroof in this one, Pascal. Yeah. Sunroof truck with late model interior. All right. King Ranch interior. 
does have all the King Ranch floor mats. No King Ranch floor mats. Cool. Backup camera and alarm system on this truck. Okay. Oh, it's this camper top. Let's pop that camper top. The Lear 700 there. And we got a white one of those out back, don't we? We have a white one that we can come with. Us of well, it's, the bed's in good shape. It's got a couple spots there. Got a couple small blemishes. But... All right. Nice looking truck. LED tail lights on it. Yep. It's got you know it's got a couple little things in the paint. Um. Emblems look good on this one. Got new headlights. Yeah, new headlights, new grill. We just did the complete yep. lifetime. Yep. With complete. bottom end. Need you to lead. Nice looking truck. Ready to go down the road. What kind of money? Uh, 30 as is. We have not done the complete front end. We did a steering gear. Uh, if you want us to do the complete front end with ball joints and tie rod ends, uh, take a look at the hubs, which they appear to be good. And brakes, you go up to 32, 33, 34, depending on how far we take. How far it. we go? Yeah, 30 as is. Okay. It's a nice looking truck. Oh my god, look at that. That's like the ugliest truck I've ever seen in my whole life, Pascal. No, it's not. Well, which one was uglier? <laughs> <laughs> So many I can't think of. Yeah. All right, this is the 2006 F550, <laughs> two-wheel drive, car right. hauler bed on it. Okay, that's a nice old truck. Yeah. It's got a GVW of 18,000 pounds. If that matters. Got to fix the seat, Pascal. She's plain Jane XL. XL. 251 on the Tigger. It's got six, seven doors and panels on it. Okay. Didn't I used to own those? Those hey, used to be my, I don't yeah. recall. Oh, uh, you lie. I don't recall. You a lie. We got new tires. Uh-huh. We got storage. Those tires, those tires are big money. I mean, that's that's an expensive tire. They're Falcon. They're about 260, 270 apiece. Falcon's kind of a West Coast brand, you know? Yeah. I got good mileage out of Falcons I've had on cars when I lived out West. The truck rides good. It really rides good. The yeah. front end is good. It doesn't have a bad vibration. It goes down the road very, very well. Man. Perfect for, like, hauling a tractor or... And it's got a hitch too, so you can yeah. you can put the hitch and 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 load it and put, and pull some else. Yeah, double double uh, double your your capacity there. And this is a 550, right? 550. It does have head studs in it. Who's been out here in my yard like doing all this donuts and stuff? It's like left pieces of tires over here, Pascal. That was not me. Right? Who does that? That is you. Huh? 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 Yeah, you heard me. Wasn't me. Huh. Yeah, it smells like, look at that, that's like redneck modern art masterpiece. Don't you think we're doing that with these trucks? I know. Shh, shh, shh. We don't do it with the trucks. I got special. Alright. Got studs in it. Um, not by us. Uh, this truck is as is. It runs and drives excellent. This is that one that we had in the in the hot no start video. That's right. We had to put two injectors yeah. in. Used. Two injectors and Starts and runs good now, though, doesn't it? Starts and runs great. It hot starts, cold starts. Um, has fresh oil in the engine. Okay. It's ready to go at 69. Okay, cool. It's a lot of truck for 69. But this one here has been here a minute. I mean, this this truck belongs to a customer, and he spent too much money on an XL crank window truck, really. And and I mean, it's new motor. I mean, he built the transmission. He put a new bed. It's brand new tires. It's I mean, I've driven around. It's two wheel drive though. It's only rear wheel drive, which is kind of the, the deal killer for most people. But I mean, you want a truck that will go up and down the road and and haul like farm equipment or anything like that. It's an extremely good riding truck. I mean, it, and it's low to the ground. Um, easy to get in and out of. I mean, it's it's an extremely nice shape. Extremely nice shape. And, uh, I mean, Pascal would be happy to sell, show you all the paperwork that's been done, of what's been done to this truck. I mean, it's it's really quite something, you know? What kind of money we got on this thing, Pascal? 29, and he's got over 27 in it, just with the work just, we Just did. the work we did was 27. You got the ball in here now. Oh, got the ball. Some people want to pull the horse oh, trailer. Oh, yeah, pull the horse trailer. You can put some stakes on here. Yeah, all bales of... Feed. Brand new Firestones. Hey. CM truck body. It's brand new body. 
I mean, the guy just went a little nuts, you know? Yeah, we need a mud flap on the other side. Spot on the bed, I mean, spot on the body, right here. But I mean, as far as a truck you can get in and go just anywhere you want to go, and, it, and it, I'm telling you, the truck drives actually very comfortable ride. Yeah. Full lifetime dealer proof, full, complete engine. We put a complete engine in this truck. From Ford. Yeah, from Ford. Not a used block. No, no but we put we put a we put a, a factory Ford remanufactured short block with our heads and all, you know new injectors. I mean, the guy went full nuts. He went nuts nuts on this thing. And then he, he said he needed a bigger truck. And it, it was wasn't big enough for what he was doing. I hate it for him. His loss is your gain. That's right. So basically, you're buying my, one of my engines for twenty. What did you say? Twenty nine. 27, 20, I think it's, it's 27. Total. So that's, you're, you're paying the bill. You're paying the guy. We're getting paying the guy, and you're getting a free bed and a free truck and free tires. You're, you're buying a drivetrain and getting the truck for free. That's really what this is. That's Call right. Pascal. What's that number, Pascal? Four four six four two five five two four. Mm -hmm. We'll take offers on that one because it needs to go away. It does. Excursion. I like this one. This one's a, a big dog ultra, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a resale, is it for us? One of ours. I think it was the first one we ever built. The first one we ever built. And, uh, guy got some very good use out of it. He had it four or five years, put about 80,000 miles on it. And, uh, nice truck. Look at that. What kind of money are we asking for on this one, Pascal? You're just going to have to call me on this truck. Okay. Limited. How many miles on it? Uh, 170. Okay. Now that mileage was reset at the build date, you know, to 100. Uh huh. Um, That's right. We had to replace a cluster in this one. Yeah, it has. That's more of those Falcon tires. Split row seating. Okay. Doesn't have the bench. Doesn't have the full bench. Anymore. Captain's chairs. Nice truck. Back as you expected. Yeah. It rides really good with the suspension. Very good. Yeah, these are beautiful vehicles. So why is he selling it? I have to talk to him actually. I don't know. Well, I don't know how much to sell it for you either. Well, okay, so it got here and, and he's, oh, that's right, he's on vacation or something and it can't be reached. I mean, this is like the only dent in the truck right here. Full lifetime dealer proof. Just super nice running truck. <laughs> super nice. All right, Big Red here. Big Red needs to find a home. This is a this is a true workhorse right here. Set up for the hitch in the back. Perfect for moving uh, campers or trailers. Short wheelbase. This is this is actually a really nice truck. Real nice bed on it. Um, put a stinger on it. It would be a good snatch truck for going into like parking decks. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what it is for. It'd be a great snatch truck. How does how the seats look underneath the covers? Good. Yeah, seats are good. Cloth. Cloth. Bunch of miles on this airframe, 369, but it got a whole new motor. Had a bad camshaft in it when I got it. Um, it even has the PTO on it. Paint's a and it's a 450. Oh, what, what is it? 06 450? 06. Yeah. Everything's been done. This is shiny. That is pretty shiny, isn't it? For 99, you know, no. this is. With the motor for yeah, that's time. again. You're getting a free truck with a motor. I mean, that's that's you know. 199 for this one. It will need some tires in the front. Yeah, it needs some tires on the front. That's as is a 199. Cool. All right, this old girl over here. I like this truck too. I know you do. It's one of those ones you can park anywhere, and you come back and leave. The, you can leave the keys in it, and it'll still be there. It'll still be there, ready to take you home. Yeah. Shouldn't have to be. Shouldn't have to be pretty to get you down the road. But you know, nice rust-free Texas truck. Originally, and it, I mean, it's got you know, it's got a few little wear and tears on it. A bench seat, crank windows. Um, hundred and one thousand on it. Uh, but it, again, a bad. Uh, what was it? Bad cam or something in this one, Pascal? I can't remember. High pressure oil system. That's right. It had a bad high pressure oil system, and I remember it looked like a lot of people had tried to fix it and couldn't quite get there. Um, real nice. Uh, Real nice, heavy-duty uh, Koenig, uh, uh, Rawson Koenig body. I mean, extremely nice body. It's it's like it's like the railroad or somebody owned this thing. It's got the spot for the the, the torches out back. It's rust-free. 
you know, just a, yeah, got the stuff, you know, got the, the long, narrow, I mean, really, really nice body. Two-wheel drive, it's not four-wheel drive. You know, got a, like I guess they had an antenna right here or something, didn't they, Pascal? You know? Something. CB maybe. CB radio. One of them there two ways. And so it's got the dual alternator. This is a, this is a heavy duty rig right here. Got this dual is a alternator. F, and it's an F350. It is not studded. Yeah, this is just a this is just a motor replacement that we put in it. Uh, we actually it was an ambulance motor. Um, low mile ambulance motor. It came out of a 2009 or 10 van. People don't know about six liters, even though they stopped putting six liters in uh, pickup trucks in 07, and then they went to that that 64 that we don't work on. Uh, the vans and the ambulance vans, they had them all the way up till 2010. They had a $2,000 surcharge on the original purchase to because it didn't meet emission standards. But like municipalities could care. That's, but uh, it's an ambulance. I don't know. It was a low miles. It's like what seventy some thousand miles on the ambulance engine. That's right. Okay, some volunteer fire department ambulance. It, it was rusty from up north. Truck runs fantastic. How much, Pascal? Ten nine. Ten nine. Ten thousand nine hundred dollars. Outstanding. Plus tax, Georgia residents. Oh yeah, the uh, Georgia residents we got charged sales tax. Uh, not sales tax, but it's called TAVT. Which I still don't know what TAVT means. I don't either. It's a damn. You pay it's TAVT and then it's Avalora. Well, so what's crazy is is that you have to pay the TAVT. Well, they replaced Avalora. Oh. Now you, you pay the one-time TAVT in, in the city of in the state of Georgia, and then you and but you have to pay it every time that vehicle changes hands. That's the thing. They get make more money. You, uh, nah, the man has a way of doing that, don't he? All right, y'all. Give Pascal a call. We're also here. Uh, we're about full up till Fourth of July in terms of repair. But we could probably sit a, fit a couple more and we take a week off 4th of July so everybody can heal up from all the damage they do to themselves mentally, psychologically, physically working at this place. Okay? So we're not going to be here that week. But uh, if you're trying to get something fixed or vacation or something like that, give me, give us a call like 770-931-4070 for repair. Give me a call, leave a message, I'll call you right back. Um, and uh, I'll be happy to help you any way we can. Anything else to say, Pascal? Call me if you want one of these trucks. I'll be happy to talk to you about it. You, you turn off your phone like what time? Seven at night? Six at night? About eight o'clock. About eight o'clock. Okay. Don't call me after eight. Yeah. Well, before eight in the morning. Oh, oh shit! You never pick up the phone at eight o'clock in the morning. I do pick it up at eight. No, you don't. I've, yeah. I've called you, man. Cause I'm on the phone. Oh, he's I'm on already the phone. talking on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> but who are you talking to? That's something I really want to know. <laughs> customers. Customers. Paying customers. Paying customers. Sometimes they're paying. Yeah. Sometimes they just want to know, you know. Yeah. They just want to call and say hello. Yeah. That's okay. Anyway, call us at 770-931-4070 if you need repair. And what's, what's that number again? 404 642 if you want to buy a I just, truck. I just can never remember your number. That's okay. Yeah, it's just programmed Just in. look at the YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I do. That's yeah. how I find it. You'll find it on there. Hey, thank you for making Power Stroke Specialty and PowerStrokeHelp.com the number one stop for the Power Stroke owner and enthusiast on the internet. Eight o'clock in the morning.